Recently, I had to demonstrate the fact that I knew how to program in ARM assembly. I decided to use TI Code Composer Studio version 5 because I have some ARM boards and TI boards. They're part of the Launchpad series. They're relatively speaking um, low cost given what you are getting. The one that I selected is the Tiva C series TM4C123G launchpad evaluation kit. I'll make a video about it later on. When calling an assembly language program from a C file, one of the issues is how do you call the assembly language subroutine or function? And um, in terms of Code Composer Studio, it is this way. You put extern and then the return value and finally the name of the function and what you are passing to it. At the moment, I just want to pass a 32-bit number to it to make life easy. Later on, I will demonstrate how you pass other more than one uh, variable to your assembly routine and other things. But I just want to show you, and it's just an extern. Of course, if you're calling it from a C++, you have to put extern C. I will demonstrate that at another time. Now I will go to the assembly language file and uh, in the assembly language file you have to put dot global the name that you have given in that extern so we have fib and lfib and um, these are I had to do Fibonacci and um, both 32-bit and for really large ends I had to do long long so that's why I return an unsigned long long and if you notice it's just you define it with global the other thing this is going to be a very short video that I want to talk about is that you receive if there is only one 32-bit variable that you're getting from C you receive it in R0 and if you are returning only a single 32-bit um, value again you have to return it into R0 if you don't save anything at the end of the function to do the return you just remove the link register into the PC when an ARM function is called and I'm using the term function and subroutine to mean the same thing I use function because that's what they call in C whereas in assembly I'd rather think about them in terms of just uh, subroutines because that's what they are the address of the program counter that's PC the next address is saved into the link register so when you move the link register into the PC you will return to the next address and the CPU will continue where it was I will explain about this later on if you're using registers R3 and above you are supposed to save them because they could be used by other routines and um, finally in this case since we pushed the link register as well as these registers onto the stack when we pop it we pop the value into the program counter so this is the reverse of this and ends up being equivalent to this so we return to the right place um, the other thing I wanted to say is that when I'm returning a 64-bit value back to C the values are returned into R0 and R1 so that's 
the important thing to remember and R1 is the most significant word and R0 is the least significant word or 32-bit and um, that's it for now I just wanted to show you today about the linkage both in the C part and how you define the subroutines in assembly so that the C could read it. Of course the names that you have defined as globals here are labels and the way that most assemblies and definitely the ARM assembly does a label is to have a colon afterwards. So these are all labels and like here I inside here I am jumping to various labels. Thank you.